Hi, it's Alex from the Sigma, and today we're going to talk about Microsoft Editor and see if it is a good alternative to Grammarly. If you don't know what Grammarly is, basically, it is a spelling checker service in the cloud using artificial intelligence to help your writing. It corrects spelling mistakes and suggests uh, better ways of writing a sentence, for example. Microsoft just released to the public the first version of Microsoft Editor, which is in a nutshell a direct competitor to Grammarly. Feature-wise, it is pretty good for the first release if you consider how quickly Microsoft decided to enter this market and release a fully functional product. You should expect it to evolve very quickly. It, it is uh, supporting already 20 different languages. If you are an Office 365 subscriber, you get a full set of features. And if you use a free Microsoft account, you get, of course, the basic set of features in a similar way that Grammarly does with their pricing plan. So just to compare, if you pay £3.80 a month or five US dollars, you get all Office 365 tools like emails, SharePoint, cloud storage, Teams, and so on. Grammarly costs £9.50 or $11.60 a month just for this writing spelling correction system. So it's one single service. Um, but if you compare Grammarly, it is, it is an established company. You know, it has been in the industry for ages and offers a pretty good product. But when you consider what Microsoft is offering, uh, you can see where the market eventually will go, considering the amount of companies which are already using Office 365. I will do the demonstration in Microsoft Edge, which, by the way, uh, you need to check out as it's now based on the same open source software as Google Chrome. Now, let's, do, let's check how to install the extension on Microsoft Edge. So we'll open Edge, uh, click on the ellipsis, extensions. Now we go to extension store, search for Microsoft Editor, click on it, select get, add an extension. Wait a couple seconds, yeah, it's coming up. And you can see we're not signed in. So let me choose my credentials. Okay, now I'm logged in using my Office 365. Okay. And now it is displaying there all the right options. So I'm gonna change the language to United Kingdom. I want to show this as well. It gives me a few more options how to choose words. You can add the exclusion website, which I heard with um, WordPress can work at times, some other times it may not work. So I suggest leaving those enabled as it is here. Cool, now let's start doing some testing. We're gonna do some testing here with uh, some online editors so uh, let's see let's try this one yeah so yeah i'm gonna put a bunch of random text here like some posts i found on facebook just random public stuff okay you can see it's picking up here some words but when you click on them they sort of like it come it disappears and then comes back yeah it gives lots of suggestions um, yeah. Yeah, no, no, not bad. Now let's try to be something more formal. I'm going to erase this and then I'm going to open a contract. Um, so let's put this, let's place this here. Let's see how it goes. All right, so now we see some different suggestions on not just like writing it right, but actually giving some sort of suggestions what different words you can use. Yeah, yeah. Again, you notice when I click on something, it vanishes and then it comes back. Okay, um, let's try what's up then. So let's say I'm gonna just copy a small bit, like let's say this message here. Let's go on WhatsApp and 
here. We also make suggestions here. Oh, even question mark. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty nice. And, uh, well, let's do some testing now in Microsoft Word. So let me close this here. Okay, so let's go to, just close this here and show in the beginning. So let me open this document here. So Microsoft released this um, uh, add-in, I would say, for Word a couple of days ago. You should be able to see this editor on the top right corner. And here you're gonna have you know all the suggestions that's giving like a summary and also you can browse its settings which is like the settings are way 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 more comprehensive than what you will get on the web interface let's say is <laughs> that's pretty much it you get like three four five options the other one you get tons um you need to configure according to your liking but out of the box features are quite different from the the, the extension you don't have as many suggestions um i think they they should give some better default options you need to play with them but so far i'm not very happy with the implementation of microsoft word i think it has a long way to go uh, i th think as it is now it works as a slightly better version of the old spelling uh character but it's not as great as the extension yeah, you can see here it's missing lots of those nice suggestions like what different words you can use and so on. You need to configure those to make it work. So yeah, as it is, your models may vary. And uh, as it is, it's not working in Microsoft Outlook, and uh, but they are planning to implement in uh, Outlook Online over the next few weeks. They are rolling out already. So yeah, it's sort of like a mixed bag. But, uh, I think the main uh, point of it now is working on uh, Microsoft Edge, and uh, yeah. So uh, summarizing, uh, my findings after a few weeks using Microsoft Editor is that it can definitely, I can definitely say, it has a lot of potential. I have stopped using Grammarly, and I haven't really missed it. Microsoft Editor has a long way to go, but for a first release. I am satisf satisfied. Um, I'm expecting Microsoft to pick up a lot of user feedback from the user voice forums. Uh, it is, it has been quite active for the last few weeks. And in about three to six months, Microsoft Editor will become like a proper, proper direct competitor to Grammarly. And uh, when you consider that it's already included with Office 365 subscription, I. You know, I, I find it fairly difficult to justify paying Grammarly, which is like more than twice for a basic Office 365 license. So yeah, I hope this is helpful for you folks. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.